Hey there, Vinny from Project Frugal. Today has been one of the greatest days of my financial life. Stick around and I'll explain why. Well, thanks for sticking around. So let's get straight into it. Let's have a look at Denise's portfolio here. So we did the last episode only four days ago. Since that last episode, we've managed to put another thousand dollars in. We're catching up on our episodes now, which is really good, but we've had a major milestone. We'll have a look at all the transactions that have happened since then. So we did get another monthly plan for seven dollars. And we also, uh, if we go back a little bit here, we've got four thousand and seven dollars that we transferred from our shares he saved that was collecting a little bit of interest. We've transferred it over into the wallet. We've paid our seven dollars for our monthly uh, shares monthly plan, allowing us to buy three thousand dollars worth of auto invest at one thousand dollars worth of ordinary shares for the princely sum of seven dollars worth of fees. Great deal, in my opinion. And we bought Fonterra Shareholders Fund, which was about to go ex dividend if you watched the last episode on the 27th of March. And it did, obviously, it did go ex dividend. So we put a thousand dollars in and we set up an auto invest for the following day as soon as we could. You can see it up here that's three thousand dollars that went into one auto invest order, which we've subsequently cancelled. Thanks very much, Sharesies. Yep. Uh, but however, what else have we got? We've got a dividend here, $34.92. Every time we get a dividend, we transfer it into the shares he saved straight away. So it's just starting to accumulate interest overnight. Even if it's literally a cent, doesn't matter. We'll keep accumulating that interest and building it up. We're trying to maximize our money here after all. And then we put the thousand dollars in as part of our regular fortnightly investing. This is episode 74. So that means we've put in $74,000 capital money from our own savings, from our own wages, salary, etc. $1,000 every fortnight, $500 year after year, month after month, week after week, it adds up. So because we're into episode 74, that means for 74 consecutive fortnights, we've put in $1,000, hence $74,000 worth of capital invested into this portfolio. That's a long time, 74 fortnights. How many is that? That's 148 weeks. Ooh, that's... Closing in on three years that we've been going on this portfolio. So we are pretty much three quarters of the way through to reaching our goal of 100,000. We've got some more dividends here. We've got Meridian $41.58, Briscoe's $34.71. Again, with these dividends, we're putting it straight into the shares he save again, maximizing the money once again. And then the following day, which is today, in fact, that was yesterday, this is today. Geneva Finance has paid out $19.15, Marlin Global $57.62, Barramundi $69.22, Kingfish $42.84, and that pretty much today's dividends, $306.99. But that's not the best news. The best news, it gets better, it gets better. We've been paid out $307 today in dividends, which is great. I'm not complaining about that. Let's go and have a look at the app and see why it's so great. Moving over to the app, you can see here today we made an impressive capital gain of just over $1,000. And remember, this is on a portfolio only worth $74,000. We've made $1,000. So that's literally a lot. That's a lot. I can't give it any other words, but it's a lot. So $1,000 in a day. Why is that? Well, the stock market had a really good day. You can see in terms of this portfolio, 20 gainers and only two losers. So shame on you, you two losers, Briscoes and someone else in the red here. Katmandu, horror day for Katmandu. We won't be putting any money into Katmandu in a hurry. Some of these have had a cracker day. ANZ Bank up 2.24% today. Barramundi up 2.82%. I think the Australian stock market did well today. Contact Energy up 1.41%. It all makes a difference the more money you got in the bigger the amount that goes up. Yeah, that's for sure. So if you got $10,000, it goes up 1%. There's another $100 in terms of your portfolio that it goes up by. It all adds up, that's for sure. Fletcher Building up 0.73. But look at this, Heartland Group Holdings, 7.56%. I don't know what happened with them. Maybe they had some good results. I've got no idea. We've still lost money overall on Heartland Bank Holdings or Heartland Group Holdings Limited. 
but I'm optimistic we're not going to be selling it anytime soon, that's for sure. Infratil, that's up a little bit. Kingfish, 1.63. Everything's up across the board, apart from Kathmandu and Briscoe's. Essentially, for this portfolio, what else we got? Stride Staple Group, that's up 4.65%. Marlin Global up 2. Property for Industry, just about 2. PGG Rights in over 2. Tourism Holdings, 4.61. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty impressive. And we've got, we don't have a lot of money in that, unfortunately. That's a shame, but never mind. Even Turner's Automotive, we've got almost $10,000 in this portfolio on Turner's. If it goes up 1.1%, there's $100 right there just on that one stock in one day. With the rises, there is chances of a fall, and it's more than likely when the market opens on Tuesday after Easter weekend that, yeah, we'll have some losses. But I'm not concerned because overall, if we go back up and we have a look at the total balance here, $74,104.71. You know what that means? Episode 74 of Road to 100K, we've put in $74,000 for the first time in an extremely long time, pretty much not long after the portfolio started, we've actually made some money. And we've made $104.71, and I am over the moon. Moving on to the payment months, you can see in March we've got a whole bunch of payers, and pretty much we've come to the end of March. Everything's paid out in this group. We've got a whole bunch of payers in April. There's still a lot of dividends to come next month as well. More optimism there. Nothing in May, and we just carry on down through the months. In terms of the share allocation, I still haven't fixed the one I talked about the other day, which was for the Fonterra, being currently listed as Financial Services and Asset Management. If you think cows are financial services and asset management, maybe it should be, but it's not that category. We will fix it up soon, when I get round to it, that's for sure. And with all those dividends being paid out, you can see now we've got $653.19, which is a new record for March for this portfolio. $790.86 for the year to date so far. We're a third of the way through the year. March is a very good month, that's for sure. We've got a pretty decent month in June at this stage. April should pay out some pretty decent money as well. We're going to, yeah, our goal is pretty much $4,000. $311.58 at this stage to come into the portfolio in April. Again, a new April record with that. March record with that. A slight February record going up a whopping 15 cents. And definitely uh, a good uh, increase there in January as well going up. Uh, how much is that? 40, 60, ooh, uh, I don't know, 60, 80 dollars, whatever it is. Something like that, yeah, 80 odd dollars. So the signs are looking positive, and at this stage, you know, if someone said to you, hey, how would you like $3,600 a year, every year for the rest of your life? Yeah, okay, that sounds good. What's the catch? Well, the catch is you've got to invest $75,000 and just let it sit in regular New Zealand companies. Can you do that? We'll give you $3,600 a year, every year. Hmm, tempting, isn't it? Well, tempting enough for me, and that's what this portfolio is designed for. Moving back on to the NZX50 charts, let's have a look at this. The week today, well, there's a bit of a dip there in the last couple of days, but it's dramatically increased again. We can see in the fortnight, it's been a fantastic fortnight overall. We've got today's market rise there. Pretty sure that's captured here today, being the 28th. It should be, looking at these uh, segments here, yeah, that should be all good. So the month to date, what a great month. It's not always going to be like this. We're still going to have down months where we lose money. That's okay. Six months, definitely on an upward uh, trajectory there. And definitely we've caught up. We're pretty much at peak market conditions at the moment. So will the market carry on going or will it fall? We'll just have to wait and see as per usual. Well, thanks for watching it to the end. It has been a great day. Well, how long will this last for? Will we stay in the black? Will we go back into the red? Got no idea, but we're going to carry on regardless. I'm grateful that it has happened, and hopefully by the end of the series we can actually make a profit. So once again, thanks for sticking around. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one wherever you are. See you later.